That's for me. Palm trees, soft music, and beautiful babes. Look, Toots, get that stuff out of your head right now. We're not down here to play with good-looking babes. You boys all set? Yes, sir. Look up, Mollet, as soon as you can, but watch yourselves. According to his report, there's considerable evidence of fifth column activity here. We think they're using Tanner Kai as a base to join forces with the Japs, but we're not sure. It's your job to find out. I understand. I don't get it, Skipper. If there's Nazis here, why don't they send a gunboat and wipe them out? Wouldn't that be simpler? Uh, I doubt it. You see, Tanakai is under a neutral government. 
Until we have absolute proof, we must observe the laws of neutrality. So if anything happens, don't look for help. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Well, Jinx, let's get going. Hey, Wally, how about our boat? What boat? The boat we're... You mean we're going to swim? Oh, no, that wasn't in the deal. Oh, Nobody no, said that to me on. about... Uh... Now, Commandant, we found this man snooping around the wireless shack. You know the penalty for spying on government property. Who is he? Paul Mullet. Arrived here a short while ago. Claims he's a pearl trader. That's where you do your pearl trading, Monsieur Mallet. At the hidden wireless station in the heart of the jungle. What did you see? Answer me. What did you find out? No use. He won't talk. There is one way to make sure he won't talk. No! Big lug, why didn't you tell me you couldn't swim? On the part of Texas I come from, this boat was two years old that can't swim a stroke. The whole Navy to pick from, and they had to settle me with you. Come on, on your feet. I'm waterlogged. <laughs> Suffering catfish, babes. I thought you were dying. Not anymore, brother. This is just what the doctor ordered. Wait a minute. I said we were laying off the women, and I meant it. We're. <laughs> Jeepers, what a dish. You said it. Jake's my boy, I wouldn't be at all surprised if our work started right here. How about all that highfalutin talk, remember? No women, strictly business. This is business. The commander sent us down here to find out what goes on, didn't he? Yeah, and I bet if he knew this was here, he'd have come himself. What a way to fight a war. Maybe they can give us some information. Yeah, like addresses and phone numbers. What do you say, babe? Hello, cutie, what's your name? Ah, Lulu, Alelu. Hey, Ilge, Ime, Eske, Ekwe. It's no use, Wally. We can't get nowhere with these dolls without an interpreter. That's where you're wrong, Jinx. When you're talking to a gal, the language is the same no matter where you are. Watch this. Oh, beautiful. Haven't we met somewhere before? Mmm, the solo. There you are, nothing to it. You know, you're one of the niftiest numbers I've seen in a long life just packed with nifty numbers. Who is it? Who is it? What can I go with us? The lamb of fighting out since she came out. Oh, my own. Yeah, we'll buy you for you, for you, Mark Molla Kama. Awa, Kia Alapaki. Oh, why are you sailing? Must be her husband. No, I can smell a husband a mile away. Do you need any help, sister? Oh, 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 you're not so bad yourself, mister. What's the matter? The cat got your tongue? You were doing all right a minute ago. How do you like that? I don't get it. Well, I did. You're a pretty fast worker, aren't you, chum? Well, I, uh... Hey, look. How come you sound like the Brooklyn Navy Yard? That's a $64 question, mister. My father was a sailor from Flatbush. You mean you was born in the USA? No, Pop met Mom here and married her. I'm Tano O'Shaughnessy. That roof Irish, by the way, not Shanty. Oh, I see. Say, who was that big ape that was bothering you? That was no ape. That was my uncle. Ha! Get her. She's got a sense of humor. How come I've never seen you around here before? Well, we just got here, you see. Uh, we... we swam ashore. We were shipwrecked. Oh, that's too bad. I'll bet it was his fault. Oh, quit picking on me. I ain't done nothing. 
But I'm glad you were shipwrecked. Now I'll have someone to play with. You see, I'm taboo. Taboo? What does that mean? That means you're not supposed to talk to anybody, doesn't it? But you can talk to me. You're strangers. Pretty good, too. Then what do you know? Run, quick. It's Uncle and the gendarmes. They'll arrest you. If they do, it'll be on the run. When will I see you again? I'll be around. Halt! Resisting arrest is a very serious offense. Let me see your passport. We don't have any. Well, how did you get here? Swam. Swam? That's right. You see, one of those dirty Jap subs torpedoed our ship. I hate Japs, don't you? Uh, well, um, so you say you are Americans, right? And yet you have no passports, right? And your ship was torpedoed, right? Yet, uh, I suppose you expect us to send you back to America. Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, you mean uh, you prefer to remain here? Why? Well, uh, you see, Governor, if we're sent back to America, we'll be drafted into the Army. And we don't want to be drafted on account of we're unconscious objectors. Very interesting. Unfortunately, however, you cannot stay here. You are going to leave as soon as the regular boat puts in. Where are you sending us? Uh, not far. On a little island just a few hundred miles away from here. Uh, where you can enjoy your unconscious objection with nothing whatever to distract you. When do we leave? In two days, when the boat arrives. Uh, maybe it'll be late, I hope. I doubt it. In the meantime, uh, you can do whatever you like, within reason, of course. I know you will enjoy mingling with the natives and watching their dances during your brief stay here. Uh, you can go now. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. <laughs> I hope you didn't believe their silly story about being conscientious objectors. Of course not. They're both American agents and not very bright ones at that. Mollet may have sent for them. That's what we must find out. See that they are watched night and day. You can count on it. Unconscious objectors. You would come up with a dizzy crack like that. I had to say something, didn't I? All you did was stand around with your mouth open. You don't think he believed that yarn, do you? He ate it up. Look at us. We're free, ain't we? Sure. Free as the air. Not a thing in the world to worry about. Except how to get our job done in two days, and how to get rid of those two Hawkshaws who've been tailing us ever since we left Air Commandant. We're being followed? Sure, that hand he's had us watched ever since we left his office. How do you like that? Ain't nothing sacred with those crowd eaters. We'd better look up that fella Mollet right away. Not till we're in the clear. No use getting him involved, too. Hey, am I crazy or do I hear music? Oh. No, they're tossing the clam bake. over there.
Move it, Alec. I, I fool up. I think he wants us to join the fun. Sit down. Well, that's for me. I'm so hungry I can eat a horse and chase the rider. What more do we need, darling, than this? Hey, you got a can opener? Horse collar in hell. Trouble? Took a little doing, but we made it. Hey, what gives out with these birds? They act like we got the measles. They don't like you because you like me, remember? I'm Taboo. Oh, yeah, Miss Taboo. Say, if you're all through with the floor show, maybe we could go someplace where it's kind of nice and quiet like, huh? Of course. We could go over to my house. That suits me fine, maybe. And me, too. Does Bull Hunkers have to come along, too? Wait here. I've got an idea. <laughs> Sense. Give me five minutes alone with that cutie and I'll find out anything we want to know. I don't know how you do it. It'll take me at least ten anyhow. Bowie, you've got to help me out. If I can, you can. It's a chance I've been waiting for to shake this stupid taboo and get off this island. Really? What do you want me to do? See those two Americans over there? Well, I've seen them before. One of them's pretty. Lay off him. He's mine. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to marry me and take me back to America with him. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Propose to him for you? No, thanks. I'll do my own proposing. The other one's yours. Him? Not a chance. Wait a minute. You don't understand. He's a millionaire. He is? Why, he's the richest hog farmer in the United States. He's got thousands of hogs. Thousands. Thousands? And then some. You'll be the richest girl on the island. Don't say another word. Just let me at him. Here she comes. Now watch an old master go to work. Look, she's got the babe that sought me. Jinx, meet Moy. Oh, you beat me. Wonderful man. Just a minute, sister. Take it easy. What have I got here, a volcano? Seems a little impulsive, doesn't she? A little, but he'll get used to it. Come on. Come on, you come along with Molly. Are you sure your father wasn't a Navy man? Come on. Where'd you dig up that ball of fire? She's my cousin. Do you like her? Yeah, if you can like a cyclone. How come she can talk to you and nobody else can? That's simple. She's taboo, too. Oh. How do you like 
like it. Quite a nice place. For this part of the world, it's downright elegant. Of course, it isn't my idea of a debutante's paradise. I always thought this was paradise. What's your idea? A Park Avenue penthouse. That's real paradise. Here's to it. Here's a go, baby. Taboo or not taboo? That is the question. Don't worry about that. I don't make the taboos around here. You know, baby, you're terrific. You think so? I suppose you know just about everybody there is to know around here, don't you? I'm fussy about who I associate with, if that's what you mean. Oh, no, nothing like that. I just sort of figured you probably knew everybody and uh, everything that goes on around here. I don't miss much. You wouldn't mind letting a pal in on a few of the better secrets on the island, would you? Of course not, darling. I'll tell you anything. Anything you want to know. If you'll marry me. Okay. Marry you? What's wrong with that? I'm not so hard to take. Well, no, but well. Wally, darling. Now, just a minute. Take it easy, sister. Let's, let's talk this over sensibly and coldly. How can you talk about marriage when you're cold? Sister, I've seen a lot of gals in my time, but you're in the class by yourself. No wonder you were giving me that big build-up about Park Avenue. Of course, why not? A girl can't stay single forever. Yeah, but why pick on me? Maybe I like you. Swell, maybe I like you. I like roast pork, too, but I don't want a steady diet of it. Don't you dare mention pork to me. Do you know why I'm taboo? No. Remember the gendarme that arrested you, Albert? How could I forget him? I'm taboo because I won't marry Albert. Uncle sold me to Albert for four pigs. Four pigs? <laughs> it ain't funny. I wouldn't marry him for a hundred pigs. That's why I want to get away. You've got to help me, Wally. Now, my idea is if you marry me, I can become an American citizen. Then you can take me away from this island and... Well, now, wait a minute. Hey, five minutes, man. If you can spare the time, I'd like to have a word with you. Excuse me. What's up? Wally, quick. Where can I get a little hold? A little haul? Yeah, it's for Maui. I'm going along great guns with her, but before I sink the deal, I gotta give her a pig. What deal? That babe's a gold mine of information. Can you stand the shock? What'd you find out? They got him out and shot him cold in the macro. Who did? His nibs, the commandant. He must have been onto something. Now we are on the spot. Well, don't you think I know it? But what about my pig? I don't know where you can get one, but get one. Pump that gal for all she's worth. I'll keep working on this one. Okay. Has he gone? Yeah. Yeah, tell me some more about us. Us? Yes, what we're going to do when we get to America and all that. Oh, wait a minute, baby. Give me a little time. Yeah! <laughs> Won't hurt you. He hardly ever has an accident. Maybe so, but I'm getting out of here while I'm still all in one piece. Well, what about us? We'll keep, I hope. We lost that pig sticker long ago. It's not Uncle I'm worried about. It's those two soulmates of ours, the gendarme. Oh, those fellas. <laughs> I'm getting used to them, but now probably feel lonesome without them. Yeah, but we can't do anything with them in our laps. Yeah, 
You notice how much closer they've been sticking to us the last hour or so? Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. We must be getting pretty close to something they don't want us to find. You think that? Like what? I don't know, but I've got an idea. If we suddenly turned up missing, they'd think we found the place and head right for it, wouldn't they? Or locate us and start shooting. Whatever they do, it'll break the monotony. But there's a chance they'll lead us to what we're looking for. Let's try it. In here. If I'd have been a snake, I'd have bit him. What are you doing here? It's, it's the Americans, Lieutenant. We've lost them. You fools. Do you realize what you've done? Those men are spies. The jungle, it, it's so thick. We, Don't we... give me any excuses. Find them and be quick about it. Or I'll have you shot for neglecting your duty. Yes, Lieutenant. What are you waiting for? Yes. Yes, Lieutenant. Und er hört das Gesindel. What'd I tell you? Ain't that so? Let's have a look around. Hey, suppose they come back. In that case, somebody might get killed. Including us. What do you care? You're half asleep anyhow. Give me a knife. What for? This ain't no time to play mummy pig, you know. Give me. Hey, ain't that loud and spoil the beans that we've been here? I wouldn't be at all surprised. Shades of Marconi, get a load of that set. You could reach the moon and back with that baby. Yeah, let's send somebody a message. Don't be stupid. Half the Japs in Asia are probably tuned in on this. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what cooked Millette. Maybe. Well, what are we going to do with it? Put it out of commission. That's for me. Put that down. You want to ruin everything? Oh, but I thought you just said we was going to put it out of commission. We are, but we're going to do it delicately. I don't get it. How can you bust anything delicately? Like this. There we are, one condenser. The set can't operate without it. Difficult to replace. I ain't impressed. What's the difference? If we wreck the machine, we get bumped off. But if we dismantle the most important part, and only we know where it's hidden, we've got something to bargain with. Our lives against this condenser. And I thought you was dumb. Well, where are we going to ditch it then? We'll find a place. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That's for victory. The Americans have disappeared. When did this happen? Just a while ago in the jungle, somewhere near the wireless shack. Laval? There are times when I would like to slit your throat. It's not my fault. I posted guards to trail them. Besides, they can't get far. That's not the point. Suppose they find the set and contact the enemy. All our work goes for nothing. I give them credit for not being that foolhardy. They know they will betray the position of their fleet to the Japanese if they ever attempted contact. That's a consolation. But they are dangerous just the same. Find them and see that they are eliminated immediately. It shall be my pleasure. Oh, by the way, a message just came. Our Japanese friends are becoming impatient. Ah, the annoying little devils don't seem to realize that one can't drive a bunch of stubborn natives into doing something contrary to their stupid beliefs. <laughs> Expect landing field ready. Sending first plane with detachment of Imperial troops tomorrow. Did you send a reply? No, sir. Why not? 
Anybody would know that we can't have the landing field ready in 24 hours. You could if you followed my suggestion of using a little persuasion on the chief. You are right. Bring the chief in. But I doubt you will get anywhere with force. I'll give you my personal guarantee that the chief will see things our way when I get finished with him. For the last time, Chief, you have got to listen to reason. I listen. It will be better for you and your people if you do. Now, what we ask is simple. All you have to do is to tell your people to cut down that row of coconut palms bordering the beach so that we can plant the crops there, crops that will bring you much money. What do crops? Well, uh, rubber maybe, or hemp. That's it, hemp. You can make a lot of money raising hemp to make crops. My people not care much for money. Coconut from in the trees, our stuff, our life. We cannot eat hemp or rope or money. My people not cut down trees. I give up. I place the whole mess into your hands. Yes, sir. Chief, you're under arrest for insubordination. Unless you tell your people to cut down those trees by tomorrow morning, you will be executed. My date not bring what you ask. You kill me, not lead my people. You see. I see only one thing. Those trees must be cut down. I have to kill you and every native on this island. Lock him up. Sing me a song. Cause my Tahiti sweetie wants to dance He fills me with a feeling that thrills me But the silly jerk kills me With the swing and sway he's got the stuff But don't give the stuff away It looks like I'll remain a single feature For Cupid passes by without a glance Cause every time I want to talk about a preacher Then my Tahiti sweetie wants to dance Thank you. 
You're all right, baby. I didn't know you could sing. Can you give me a pig now, hmm? Oh, sure, sure. Hey, you know something? I just found out. These natives use pigs for money. How do you like that? Can you imagine sticking a pig in a slot machine? Why, certainly, instead of getting a pack of cigarettes, you get a slab of bacon. <laughs> you like bacon better than Maui? <clears throat> Thought you said he was a Nazi. What do you say? It's terrible. They're holding the chief as hostage. He's going to be killed if they don't agree to cut down the trees by the beach. It's taboo to cut down the trees. That's funny. Why should they want to cut down the trees along the beach? They want to plant crops. Are well, they crazy? They can't plant crops in that soil. It's... Wait a minute. That's it. No fooling. There's only one reason why they should want to cut down the trees along the beach. They're planning to build a landing field. Jeepers. We've got to nip that idea, but quick. <laughs> What's all the shouting about? They're going to storm the jail and rescue the chief. Are they crazy? They could never stand up with those gendarmes. They'll all be killed. They can't just stand by and do nothing. They've got to rescue them or they'll lose face with the gods. You tell them to leave everything to me. I've got an idea. What can you do? There's no time to explain now. You just go tell them to call off their war party. Well, go ahead. Tell them. There's no time to lose. They say they'll do it, but I'm warning you, brother, you better be good. Uh-huh. Not me. You. You'd better be good. Polly, I don't like it. Oh, baby, don't be difficult. You want to rescue your chief, don't you? Certainly, but why at poor Albert's expense? With pigs so scarce on this island, how come it's somebody ain't already plucked Albert off? Well, maybe I don't like him, but he's never done anything to me. This is no time for sentiment. Of course, Albert's a nice guy, but he's on the wrong side, that's all. Now, go ahead, baby, give. No, you're too anxious. Besides, if you really love me, you wouldn't dream of making me do such a thing. Don't be silly. This is business. Of course I love you. You do? Then you'll marry me? Do we have to go over all this again? Not right now, little woman. We'll go into that later. No, not till he agrees to marry me. Say, I thought I was doing you a favor. Okay, okay, I'll marry you. Oh, Wally, you're wonderful. Gee, for you, I'd do anything. Make love to anybody, even him. Hulk, who goes there? Why, Albert, don't you know me? What are you doing here? I couldn't sleep, so I decided to take a walk. I thought of you, and here I am. Why don't you go find your American? Why should I go to him? I like tall men in uniform, like you, Albert, darling. Boy, when she pours it on, she don't fool, does she? Come on. Kiss me, Albert. Tana, you're wonderful. Kiss me and close your pretty eyes, and Tana will show you more stars than there are in heaven. Your home run. Poor 
more, Albert. Now do you see stars? No, he never will. Alea faiga el away e e. Paftai tana. You do pay service tonight. Chief Sai and his people did not forget. It was a pleasure, Chief. Sure. We like conking those heinies on the conk. Say, this cave looks like a pretty good deal. It's the safest place on the island. Only the natives know where it is. Is it big enough for all of us? I have a better hideout for us. Well, I guess you want me to stay with the chief, huh? No, you'd better come along. Fa'atadi ini. So far. This way. Arawar, amigo. If those heinies don't catch me pretty quick, I'm going to learn how to swim. I know it looks like I was neglecting my duty, monsieur. But I wasn't. I swear I wasn't. It was dark. I could not see. Excuses, alibis. That's all you know. You couldn't see. But you could hear, couldn't you? What kind of a soldier is it who lets the enemy sneak up behind his back when he is on duty? It wasn't my fault. Nobody could have done anything. Not what? even you. What's that? You insubordinate scum. I'll teach you to talk to me like that, Schweinehund. Sorry, monsieur. I didn't mean it. You didn't mean to let the Americans take the chief, but they did. And you are going to pay for it with your life. With my life? You're not going to kill me. You Nazi dogs have killed too many of my people. Stop that kind of talk, you fool! You're not going to kill me, Herr Commandant. Stay where you are! Attention! You're not going to kill me. Because I'm going to kill you first. I've waited a long time to do this. Please don't. I'll pardon you. I'll do anything. Now I'm going to show you how it is to die. You should be more careful, Herr Commandant. I actually believe he was going to kill you. Yeah, it's all right. And it just belongs to me. Nobody else even knows that it's here. That makes it cozy. Hey, what do you say to a little shut-eye? That's a good idea. So long, baby. What do you mean, so long? I'm going to stay here until tomorrow morning. What's tomorrow morning got to do with it? That's when we're going to get married. I have a little boat down in the cove that will take us to the next island where the missionary lives. And the first thing in the... Hey, morning... wait a minute, baby. Take it easy. You're awfully sweet and I like you very much. Maybe I even like you enough to marry you, but not tomorrow. Not for a lot of tomorrows. But you promised. All right, I promised, but I didn't say when. I came down here to do a job, not just to marry you. So that's how it is. When we make a promise, we keep it. I didn't say I wouldn't keep it, did I? I should have known better than to have fallen in love with a sailor. I hope you get ants in your mattress. You know, I have a feeling Mr. Boo goes for you. Have you found the chief and those Americans? No, but I know where they have been. The wireless shack. Dismantled the transmitter and took the condenser. Is there no end to it? What a predicament. The Japanese arrived tonight. No beam to bring them in, no landing field, no way to warn them. Laval, you have got to find those Americans. I know where they are. What is it worth to you if I tell you where you can find them? Well, anything you ask. Watch her, Herr Commandant. I know this woman. She's very tricky. Yes. Why do you want to tell me that? I thought those Americans were your friends. They are. One I like very much. But he won't marry me. Oh, I see. And you want us to kill him? Oh, no. Well, they're very dangerous. What do you expect us to do? You said you'd do anything if I told you. That's right. Then you've got to promise to deport them. I mean us. Deport you where? To the island of Lukai, where the missionary lives. Oh, I see. All right, I promise. And now, where are they? Do you know where the Pali Trail is? Yes. Well, they're in a little glen just beyond the second crossing. Achtung! Die zwei Amerikaner sind in den Palibalde versteckt. Mein Befehl ist, sie verhaften und totschlagen wie Hunde. Jawohl, Herr Kamerlund. Well, your American friends will be well taken care of, I promise. Now, run along. Moy, you know a little German, don't you? 
A little. Fritz taught me before they hung him last year. Why? What does totschlagen wie Hunde mean? Oh, that's easy. It means kill them like dogs. Are they going to kill someone? I'm afraid so. Wally and Jinx. Moi, I'm nothing but a dirty little double-crosser. I could have told you that. This place is beginning to give me the willies. How much longer we got to hang around here, anyhow? Take it easy, will you? With those gendarmes looking for us, we don't dare make a move until night. Did you ever have the feeling that somebody was looking at you? You're imagining things. Maybe, but I can just feel somebody's eyes looking right through me. Uh-oh. On your feet. Don't try anything. You got away with it once, but it won't happen again. How'd you know we were here? Tana told us. Tana? Even she knows a traitor when she sees one. What have you done with that condenser? What condenser? Very well, if you won't talk to us, we'll take you to the Commandant. March. Come on. Here they come. Babe, are you anyhow? One minute you make love to me, and the next you turn us over to the police. I'm sorry, Wally. I only did it because I love you. Because you love me. Don't be mad at me. I can explain everything. Honest, darling. Lay off, Woody. You can't explain anything. Well, I saved you, didn't I? Yeah, that's one point in your favor. Now go on, beat it, scram. All right, I will go. You'll never see me again. Now wait a minute. I changed my mind. You stay here, where I can keep my eyes on you. It's no use. They won't talk. Fritz, you might as well loosen up. What's that radio set doing on this island? Sustainic English. There he goes, giving out with that Heine stuff again. He spoke English pretty well a while ago. I I don't remember. White men were too easy. Let the chief show how make it talk. No, you'd better let us handle it, Chief. Wally, the chief's got something there. Him and me sees eye to eye in lots of ways. Just give me five minutes with these birds, and I'll have them spouting English in seven different languages, including double talk. I guess we haven't any choice. We've got to find out what goes on around here. Well, if, if you'll just clear the deck of the women, we'll have a little tea party. Don't you need any help? Mm -mm. All right, Chief. Help me on time so they can't say I didn't give them an even break. What is he going to do? Nothing to worry about. Jenks is as harmless as a kitten. Did you say kitten? Wally, you know something? What? We had them fellas all wrong. They was just aching to talk. What'd they say? Plenty. A big Jap plane gets in the night loaded full of soldiers. They plan to set up an air base on this island. That's what I was afraid of. We've got to stop that plane. What with these? Hardly. That radio is probably set up to bring in a plane on a beam. If the pilot can't get it, he won't land. That's right. And he can't get a beam because the radio's on the blink. So he just turns around and flies back to where he come from. Swell! Suppose on the other hand, he does get a beam. He comes down on a landing field that isn't there. Result? No more plane, no more jabs. Boy, you said a mouthful. Hey, we better get that condenser. See you later, baby. Me too, Tootsie. And I'll bring you a couple of jets, just for you. Well, how do you like that? We save their necks, and what happens? They leave us flat. Four hours those gendarmes have been away. Why don't they bring in the prisoners? Perhaps they lost their way. More likely, they allowed those stupid Americans to trick them. How can you call the Americans stupid? When they have outwitted us at every turn, Silent! You are talking disloyalty to our Führer. I wonder what our Führer would do if he were here, on an island where the natives hate us, and two Americans out there with guns, and a Japanese plane on the way to a landing field that isn't ready. 
You shouldn't have sent these two dumb cops after them. Shut up! I'm in command here. And I am your army. I'm sorry, Laval. I apologize. How could the two Americans cause so much trouble? Now give me the condenser. How are you going to know which is the beam and which ain't? The dial's probably marked. Yep, there she is. That does it. Now all we've got to do is wait. For what? That. Listen. That does it. They're coming in. Boy, wait till those bow legged baboons try to land in that mess of coconuts. be long now. Come on, let's go get ourselves some jabs, if there's any left. I hope we both get our limit. Wally! Not now, baby. I'm in a hurry. I want to go, too. We're going jap hunting, Tannen. It ain't no place for a girl. I know what I'm doing. Look, Uncle owned it to me. Okay, come on. I hope there's enough I'm left to shoot at. Don't worry, we're not through yet. Come on. This is up. Go go the mate. I cook on the mate. Mo chun be This is up. Mo chun be taking my shida. No, 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 sabi. The mashita. I did a me for this. It's the Japanese. They must have landed somehow. Yeah. You are Commandant Craig? Yes, I'm the Commandant. Heil Hitler. To the new order. I am Lieutenant Connell. Welcome to my island, Lieutenant Kono. I'm glad you landed safely. You have failed in your duty, Commandant Craig. The landing field was not ready. It was not even there. Well, I can explain. Do not interrupt. Do not interrupt yourself. There was no landing field. And yet you deliberately gave us a beam to bring us in. Beam? Laval, those Americans again. Americans? What Americans? The two American agents. They landed here a while back and have been giving us trouble ever since. We will take care of them as we have all others. Incidentally, America will soon be out of the war. How do you know this? The morale is breaking. They have no food. The people are starving. We have first-hand reports. The whole nation is asking what are cooking. Look. Three apiece. Now match it for the odd one. You better stay here. And miss this, I should say not. No use making ridiculous excuse for your cowardly conduct, Commandant Craig. If you are honorable man, you will atone for the lives of men who die when our plane crashed. You mean? An honorable death. Five minutes. We wait outside. That chap thinks that I'm going to blow out my brains. He's crazy. Good 
Good luck. Very good, Lieutenant. Now you are in the same position. What do you mean? Now you are responsible for the airfield and the capture of the two Americans. I see what you mean. What's your ammunition? We haven't got much. Uh, if we run out, I'll use Uncle's pocket knife. Pick your man and fire at Will. Will? Which one is he? We would both pick the same target. I did say them Japs was bad shots. That got him. There they are. Boy, what a sensation I'd be with them Brooklyn Dodgers. This is the happiest moment of my life. Jinx gave it to me. Wally, is everything all right? It's in the bag, baby. There'll be a destroyer here in the morning with a detachment of Marines. And back we go to the good old USA. To get married? How are you going to start that all over again? Well, why not? Mm -hmm.